People were shocked when Kennedy abruptly quit the show after years of insightful commentary. Kennedy had been with the network for a long time and was known for her bold opinions and quick wit. However, a lot of strange things happened behind the scenes that made her leave so quickly. What really made Kennedy put Fox News when she was at the top of her game? You might be surprised by the answer, but we need to know about her early life and how it shaped her. Lisa Kennedy Marr, whose stage name is Kennedy, was born on September 8, 1972, in Indianapolis, Indiana. She spent her childhood in Lake Oswego, Oregon. Kennedy grew up with her mother and two boys, not far from Portland. Her childhood was full of love, support, and a strong family bond. Her lively mix of Romanian and Scottish culture had a big effect on how she saw the world that gave her a unique point of view that would become her brand in the media world. Kennedy was smart and interested in everything from a very young age, and she did very well in school at Lake. She loved learning in high school, which made her want to go to college. After graduating from high school, Kennedy started her college career at Santa Monica College. This was an important step that led her to the famous University of California, Los Angeles, or UCLA. It was at UCLA that Kennedy's academic potential really took off. She worked hard and was determined, which is why she got a grant. This is where she first learned. Kennedy got her bachelor's degree in philosophy in 2005. It was a big step in her life and the beginning of an exciting new chapter. Now that she had a strong academic background, her next move would make the whole world take notice she got a job at Crow QFM a famous radio station in Los Angeles. Kennedy's life changed drastically when she was offered the job of VJ at MTV in 1992. At the time, it was one of the most sought after jobs in the media business because of her sharp wit and lively personality. The edgier alternative sound of the station was perfect for her, and she quickly became known as the Virgin Kennedy, a name that summed up her unique mix of innocence and rebellion. As the host of MTV's late-night alternative rock show Alternative Nation, Kennedy's unbridled energy and style made her a huge hit with fans right away, and she quickly became a well-known name. Kennedy was a leader in the grunge movement that shaped the 1990s. She was very important in getting bands like Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Pearl Jam to a wider audience, bringing a new age of music into the world. She was a big deal in the music business because she could connect with her fans and really love the music. As a young woman, it was hard for Kennedy to work in a field dominated by men, but her confidence and bravery made her stand out. She was never afraid to say what she thought or questioned the way things were. People liked and disliked her. At the Video Music Awards in 1994, she mimed a private act while standing next to Rudy Giuliani, who was mayor of New York City at the time. It was one of the most memorable moments of her MTV career. People thought it was brave and controversial and it solidified Kennedy's image as a fearless and unapologetic performer. Kennedy had an impact on pop culture that went beyond music. In 1995, she was such a big deal that the character McGovern on the hit sitcom Murphy Brown was based on her. This shows how versatile her style and charm were. When her book Hey Ladies Tales and Tips for Curious Girls came out in 1999, it made her an even bigger pop culture star. It was a collection of her own stories. Kennedy's journey wasn't over yet. In the late 1990s, she bravely switched from TV to radio, which gave her the chance to explore new parts of her personality and interests. In 1999, she moved from Los Angeles to Seattle and became the host of the Buzz on KQBZ radio. The show had news, local flavor, and comedy, and Kennedy's quick wit and interesting personality came through. This was the start of a new part of her work that would make her go from being a pop culture star to a well-known media voice in the next two years. 
Kennedy returned to Los Angeles and teamed up with a friend, Sapa, to host a morning radio show on the Comedy World Radio Network. Kennedy got better as a host and reporter on the show, which mixed comedy and current events. Around this time, she also started to appear on game shows. She was the host of Friend or Foe on the Game Show Network, which showed how she could entertain and connect with people. Kennedy is brave, smart, and has a unique point of view. She has never been afraid to try new things and take risks in her work, whether it was switching mediums or genres. She is a well-known figure in the media business because of these traits. But it wasn't until she started writing about politics that her career really changed and she made plans for the next part of her life. Kennedy started to talk about politics when. Kennedy's politics are an interesting mix of independence and passion, showing how her ideas are complicated and change over time. She left Seattle in 2001 to co-host a morning radio show with a friend, Sapa. This was the start of her journey into politics, where her independent ideas and sharp analysis would reach a new group of people. Kennedy has never been registered with any party, but his political ideas have always been based on a. She has a strong belief in personal freedom and responsibility, and she has pushed for major changes to Social Security and other government programs. Her opposition to the war on drugs and too much government red tape shows that she leans more toward libertarianism. She is now seen as a critic of both major political parties, and people have noticed how brave Kennedy is when she speaks out. In 2015, she became a. With the wit and intelligence that are her trademarks, she was able to talk about politics on her Fox Business Network show Kennedy. She quickly became a fan favorite because she could talk about tough topics with humor and intelligence, which made her a well-known political commentator. Kennedy's road has not been easy, even though she has been successful, because she didn't feel bad about what she said. She often got into trouble. Kennedy had arguments with fans and coworkers that caused tension and controversy, but she stayed true to herself the whole time. She never stopped standing up for what she believed in or questioning the status quo. Kennedy's first political experience was with Republicans, who were very excited about her. In 1994, she made it clear that she was a dedicated Republican, which was the start of a lifelong love for conservative politics. In politics, she was unique because she always went against the crowd. This was made clear when she famously showed up to Bill Clinton's MTV Rock and Roll inaugural ball in 1993 and joked by chanting Nixon, 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 as the Clintons took the stage. It wasn't just a flirtation move it showed how much she admired Richard Nixon, a figure whose influence is complicated and often misunderstood in conservative circles. Her support for other. Republicans like Dan Quayle and Bob Dole helped her cause even more, but when she spoke at the Republican National Convention in 1996, it was the highlight of her early political career. It was then that she became a rising star in both the Republican Party and the public eye, someone who could inspire and motivate others. Lisa Kennedy Montgomery continued to grow as a politician, and a big change started to happen. The active young woman who used to be proud to call herself a social conservative was now questioning the very views that had made her who she was. She admitted that being a social conservative was making her feel bad, and she took off her stiff framework like an old cloak dot. She said something brave when she said, I wasn't a Bush conservative, I was really a libertarian. This was the start of Kennedy's journey toward a new ideological home one that would change her job and public image. Kennedy read Ayn Rand's books through lore, especially Introduction to Objectivist Epistemology. The ideas in Rand's writings moved Kennedy a lot, and they planted the seeds of libertarianism that would soon grow and thrive. Kennedy's switch to liberty wasn't just a change of mind, it was a way for her to do something. 
As her views changed, they became more and more at odds with mainstream conservatism. She made a big choice when she backed Gary Johnson. The, the fact that she voted for the Libertarian Party's presidential candidate in both 2012 and 2016 showed that she fully agreed with libertarian ideas and was ready to be different, even if it meant going against the party she had once strongly backed. In March 2012, Kennedy wrote an interesting piece for Reason, a magazine that supports libertarian ideas. In it, she boldly said that atheism should be recognized as a faith too, going against the traditional split between theistic and non-theistic beliefs. It wasn't just a personal statement that this. She stressed intellectual honesty, personal freedom, and always seeking the truth in her statements. Kennedy was a great fit for Fox News, which is known for having a diverse group of commentators and pundits. She had a unique mix of wit, wisdom, and libertarian charm. When she joined Fox News, she started a new part of her work that would help her ideas and beliefs reach more people than ever before. Kennedy started out as a reporter for Fox News in 2012. People quickly became fans of hers because of how well she could analyze things, make jokes, and get into heated arguments. During this time, she got better at being a political commentator because she talked about a lot of different issues in an honest and funny way. As Kennedy became more famous on the network, Fox News noticed how popular she was becoming and how. By 2013, Kennedy was able to co-host the show Independence, which looked at how politics, society, and the economy affect each other. The show's format, which included lively debates, serious discussions, and funny segments, showed how versatile she is and how well she can connect with a wide range of people. In 2015, Fox News gave Kennedy her own show, Kennedy, which would air on the Fox Business Network at 8 p.m. It was her big break because of how well the dependents did. Kennedy's show quickly stood out in the crowded world of cable news thanks to her interesting personality and unique style. One thing that made Kennedy different from other political talk shows was that it encouraged honest and open conversation. Kennedy told her guests to have real, unplanned conversations instead of following a strict structure or playing it safe with pre-written questions, and she wasn't afraid to push them to do so. Kennedy was always looking for the truth and shedding light on the problems that were most important to her audience. She wasn't afraid to face controversial issues head-on, whether they were about the latest political scandal or the tough issues that people were facing in their own lives. When Kennedy talked about the issues of the day on her show, she was always ready to stand up for what she believed in and say what she thought. Her libertarian beliefs in personal freedom, limited government, and free markets helped her choose what to talk about from the start. People really liked Kennedy because it was different from other political shows because it had both funny and serious parts. The show's numbers showed that people liked it in its early years. Kennedy was always one of the best shows on the Fox Business Network. But during the COVID-19 outbreak, everything changed, especially in the media world where Fox Business's network had problems that had never been seen before. As the virus spread around the world, markets crashed and businesses went out of business. It became important to know the latest economic news. Fox Business Network took Kennedy off the air in March 2020 after putting it on hold, which was big news for fans who didn't know if they would ever see Lisa Kennedy Montgomery on TV or in movies again. Kennedy, on the other hand, didn't like to be quiet for long and fans were looking forward to the long-awaited return of the show in. Fans had grown to love Kennedy's sharp wit and fearless criticism, but the show had to quickly adapt to new times, even with strict safety rules like working from home and avoiding social isolation. The people who made the show had to find their way in unknown waters, and it wasn't just the making of the show that was hard people's viewing habits had changed in big ways as well. 
As more people worked from home and read the news, they were also busier and more stressed than ever. In this new digital age, it was hard enough to stay relevant. So Kennedy and her team knew they had to do better. They used social media in ways that had never been done before, interacting with fans online and giving fans exclusive content that kept them interested. Even with all the problems, Kennedy continued to do well. A lot of people watched the show, which showed that they still liked her unique mix of humor, insight, and unapologetic. Even though people's attention spans are getting shorter and competition is high, 81,000 people watched the show's second episode after it was relaunched. This wasn't easy as the pandemic went on. Kennedy's writing changed to fit the time. On the show, people talked about the most important issues of the day, like how the government responded to the outbreak and how lockdowns affected people. Discussing people's rights and how badly the economy was affected, Kennedy's libertarian views on individual rights and small government became more important than ever. People watching her show were getting more and more annoyed with the government's rules, so she used her show to question the usefulness of lockdowns and fight for personal freedoms. Kennedy was in a good mood, but just then, another storm came through. In June 2023, Fox Business Network announced something shocking Kennedy would be canceled. The news came like a lightning bolt, shocking both fans and people who work in the business. Lisa Kennedy Montgomery broke the news on social media on June 1, 2023, writing, It's the last episode of Kennedy tonight, so let's go out. Fans who had been with her through all of the ups and downs of the show's eight-and-a-half-year run could relate to the message, which was both funny and sad. When the show was canceled, it was the end of an era. Kennedy has been a regular on Fox Business since it started in 2015. The show is known for its lively debates, cultural commentary, and Kennedy's honest view of the world. The media world is changing quickly, and the network's choice was a reflection of what people wanted to see and how they wanted to see it. After the show, Fox Business Network showed old episodes of The Larry the Cat Show at 7 p.m. This showed that the network was changing its focus. Dow had a loyal following because he focused on market views and economic analysis. He was the head of the national. It made sense to air his show during prime time because it always had higher ratings than Kennedy's. In a cable news market that is getting more and more competitive, Fox Business chose to focus on a show that could draw bigger crowds. It had been clear for a while that Kennedy's ratings were going down before it was canceled. The show used to have a huge audience, but now only had about 81,000 viewers per episode, which is a lot less than Cow's show, which always had bigger crowds at the worst times. This drop was caused by bigger. People were switching to digital platforms and other media sources to get their news and opinions. Kennedy's biggest move was telling Fox News in August 2024 that she was leaving to become a writer for the Daily Mail. This was the start of a new part of her work that would bring her voice to people all over the world. The news made waves in the media world, and people had mixed reactions, from excitement to doubt. Fans were excited to see how Kennedy would bring her voice to the world. The Daily Mail is known for its shocking headlines and stories. Kennedy made a name for herself right away in her first piece for the paper when she talked about the 2024 election from a new angle that called common stories into question and sparked heated debates. Her columns quickly became must-reads, bringing her new readers and keeping her old fans interested. One thing is clear. Lisa Kennedy Montgomery is still learning how to work in the media world, which is always changing. She's not done yet. Kennedy is still a strong voice that won't be silenced, whether she's on TV, in print, or through her show. This is true no matter how much the world changes around her.